um, stalwart and committed partner. Um, but I do have to acknowledge that the relationship does have some challenges right now. And quite honestly, those challenges are because of the treatment of the Serb minority right now. And it's unfortunate that we have to go through this, but the DNR, the, the central bank decision um, has caused some real hardship for some of the citizens of this country, and we're very concerned. So we're going to continue to work on that issue, but I think it's an emergent it, the, uh, it's an emerging humanitarian issue that we need to address immediately. And I hope that the government is prepared uh, to be flexible in its discussions on the dialogue on Tuesday. At the same time, I commended the Prime Minister for the decision that he made on Dechani. It was a difficult decision, but it was the right decision. Um, and I welcome his commitment to that, uh, to the rule of law and the decision made by the Constitutional Court. Uh, I'll have more tomorrow, and then I'll be departing uh, Kosovo in the afternoon. Thank you very much. Mr. Escobar, uh, has Kurti uh, uh, on your request about the dinner, and what are the relations between the U.S. and the Kosovo government after this week? Well, uh, I, I can say that we had a very good discussion, and I made it, made it very clear that no one can hear the stories uh, from some of the uh, most vulnerable members of this community, which is the disabled, the retired, and students, and not be moved by their stories of how this decision has affected them. The Prime Minister acknowledged that, and he did promise that he would look into some of the proposals that, that I made to him today. Mr. Escobar, so there are many critics who are saying that the U.S. is having an unbalanced approach uh, towards Kosovo Serba dialogue. Yeah. yeah. Well, look, let me tell you something. Everything that we have done in the last year has been in favor of Kosovo. So I immediately after Okrid, we supported your, your candidacy for Council of Europe. We supported your democratic processes, including the elections in the north. Uh, we stood by you after the se September 24th attacks, and we made a decision to help uh, provide you javelins. So explain to me how that's unbalanced. It really is. Everything we've done has been for Kosovo, and we're going to continue to do that. So uh, in the meantime, we do hope that Kosovo can hear our concerns, um, and it shouldn't be too hard, because these are citizens of Kosovo. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.